will keep their lips short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food and water, as well as in the air. They will be covered in poisons wherever they turn. The soft metals will make them lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many funds, and yet we will give them more poison. Chemical poisons will be absorbed through the skin of idiots, who believe that certain hygiene and beauty products presented by great actors and musicians will bring eternal youth to their faces and bodies, and through their thirsty and hungry mouths, we will destroy their minds and systems of internal organs. Reproduction However, their children will be born as disabled and deformed and we will hide this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything around them, in what they drink, eat, breathe and wear. We have to be ingenious in distributing the poisons because they can see far. We'll teach them that poisons are good with funny pictures and musical tones on TV. Those who are looking for them will be helpful. We'll enroll them to push our poisons. They will see that our products are used in film, and they will get used to them, and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them that we are helping them. We will start earlier, when their minds are young. We will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their minds and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we have created drugs that will make them sicker and cause them other illnesses, for which we will create even more drugs. We will make them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus our attention on money and material goods so that they never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and video games, so that they are never one with the unity of all. Their minds will belong to us, and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we will find ways to implement technology that alters the mind in their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and we will establish opposition within them. We will own both sides. We will always hide our goal, but we will continue our plan. They will do the work for us, and we will prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure because it is. We will make them kill each other when they oppose us. We will keep them separate from unity through dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and let them believe that they are guiding themselves. We will instigate animosity among them through our factions. When a light shines among them, we will extinguish it by mockery or death, which suits us best. We will make them tear their hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this using hatred as our ally, anger as our friend. Hatred will completely blind them and they will never see that in their conflicts, we will be their leaders. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors, as long as we see that they are against us. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We will repeat this until our ultimate goal is achieved. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger. We will give them images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to achieve this. The tools will be provided by their work. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that we are all one, that he must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always believe that they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their lands, resources and wealth to exercise control over them. We will trick them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they have. We will set up a money system that will shut them down forever, keeping them and their children in debt. 
when we ban them altogether, we will accuse them of murder and present a different story to the world because we will own all the media. We will use the media to control the flow of information and their feelings in our favor. When they rise up against us, we will crush them like insects because they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything about it.